So Rabbi Mintz spoke about being like direct with people instead of being over lotus now, like to say, you know, how you might feel and to settle it. I wanted to ask that question in the context. I mean, the system you're talking about, you should give out your complaint to the person. Tell them what you have against them. Yeah, yeah, you know that? Holding yeah. it in your heart. So I wanted to ask that question in the context of like, you know, an apparent and child situation where, you know, my Rosh Hashiva in, in Israel would always say like, you can't say no to your parents and you can't even say you're right because that's like putting yourself on their level and that you just can't do that. But, but in, a, in a world today, I mean, I know at least what I've always been told, like a classic line that years ago, a parent would look at a child and give him a stare and the child would understand exactly what the parent is thinking. Where today, it might work until a certain age and then the child has a mind of his own. But, but my, my question, what I'm trying to get to is if a, if a child, is there something that's reasonable that's bothering a child? Not, not that the parent did a buy him a Rolex watch or something, but like something it could be like a, an emotional or a psychological thing. Is it, is it, is it, is it okay? Is it would have an aim to, to be direct with the parent in a respectable manner? Oh, is there something they have against the parent? Something they feel the parent's not treating it, them right? It's, 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 be, it's, it's, it's about being direct with, your, with the parent than uh, maybe holding it inside and then kids grow up with a certain, uh, I don't know, Nagia, like they, they grow up with a certain uh, a feeling that they never spoke about and then, the, you know, it might blow up at when they're 18 or 21, but I'm asking as a, like a young adult or as a teenager, there's something that might bother a child. Is it, is it okay to be direct with a parent in a respectful manner, you know, in four eyes and, and say how, or, or no, but meaning is it... I understand. In, in I understand. Because the child, and what you might say is, there's something's wrong with the parent. But, but really, what I'm asking is... You, you have to do it in a way which is respectful. I think the parent would welcome it. But you don't tell the parent, you don't know, attack them, and say, you're wrong. You say, well, I'm pro you're probably, not, probably, probably I'm right, probably you're right, but I just I sort of don't understand if you can explain to me. It's just like if you give a rebuke to a chokha, to a rebbe, or to a parent. If you see them doing something wrong, you're obligated to tell them, but it has to be in the right way. You're saying such a way. Well, doesn't isn't he supposed to do this? I will ask him a question. Are you supposed to do this? And then you don't say you're wrong. Don't do that. You have to say it in a respectful way. The same thing over here. You don't, don't tell the parents. You know. You don't. You know. You know how to bring up your children. If you would have done that, you, know, you say. You know, I don't understand. You know, why, why? You know. If you would have done that, maybe it would have been a better effect on me. And so on. But if you say in a respectful way, parents will be will appreciate it. Usually, they want children to talk to them and, and bring out a, a problem. Either, again, they'll explain themselves. Maybe you won't come to a final answer or whatever it is, but certainly if you get it off your chest to say it the right way, in a respectful way, then it's, uh, that's permitted to do it. It should be done. I accept that. Just like, then how is it like if you say to your parent, you know, you're right, and you're putting yourself, you're equalizing. Uh, obviously, there, there's two different scenarios yeah. to begin with, but... Uh, just so you don't say, uh, like, you're right, you don't say you're, you're right. You know, say, I, I, oh, I understand, sounds... You understand what you're saying? I see. See, it makes a lot of sense to me. Understand? I see. It shows if you, they're teaching you something. Not you're you're uh, giving them your your uh, uh, pat on the back. You're right. They say, oh, you're right. And I, say, I learned something from that. I see. I see what you mean. You give them the respect that uh, that you're not putting the same plane with them. That's what he's saying. So he's, by, by saying you're right, you can say it in a different way, and not just uh, in the way that uh, that you're showing that you. Uh, we respect their uh, intelligence and, and their decision and, their, and to say the right words. So. Oh.